Hi everyone, and welcome to Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. We're located off of Lake Superior. My name is Haley Johns, and today I get to show you the 2023 Winnebago Mini 2500 FL. As you can see, we're starting on the inside this time, and then we'll work our way on the outside. There's a lot of changes and a lot of updates to the 23s that I'm super excited to let you know about. So, for starters, they added in this front living room, there's a little bit lighter interior. There's an opening in the couch so you can have some storage, cup holders. It does recline. I'm not gonna do that because I think if I recline, I might not leave this spot. And You need to see the rest of the camper. So over here, we've got our dinette, which is great because it goes down into additional sleeping. So if you have other guests or other people that are wanting to come and stay, you can put them here. It's nice and long, so people are gonna be more apt to fit better. Storage underneath. Now, one of the really cool changes that I'm gonna show you is they added this really pretty blue cupboard color to kind of separate the kitchen from the living area. There is storage when you first come in, which is nice, you can put your purse and other such things in there. Then you have this. Now I'm gonna show you how this works. This is the extendable countertop or flip up countertop. So when you pull this up, it doesn't just click into place. You have to take these and push them down in to lock it in. So then it's nice and secure so that you're able to put your gigantic bowl of watermelon or whatever it is that you're gonna put here and it's got that stability. Now to put it back down, you have to lift up slightly enough so you can push these bars back in, just right there, push it in and push that one in and then it'll go back down. So pretty simple, easy to use. Give you an extra counter space. Now the sink does have two sink covers. You can remove it for one large, big open sink. Put those back on, it gives you a little more counter space. A nice light here to give you space or the lighting on that space rather. Storage. Right, we're gonna flip on over to the entertainment area. So here you also have storage underneath and above the TV. Your radio. You do have this nice um, connects charging station. So you're able to just put your cell phone right there. And then if you're plugged into shore power, it'll just continue to charge your phone um, if your phone has that ability, which is nice. All right, microwave and your three burner stove. This is a convection microwave. You don't have an oven. So this here, if I can get it open, is a um, nice open big drawer for those bigger things, pots and pans and such. Fridge and your freezer. Gas electric. Now, it's going to get a little tight in the hallway, but I'm still going to show you um, all the storage that's over in here. So this is going to be, maybe we'll pass through and come back and show you because the way the door is open, it's a little bit strange. So let's switch gears into the bathroom. This door opens up nice and wide, so you're able to load all your things into the bathroom that you need to. Your shower. Now this shower door, I'm gonna pop in here and show you how this shower door works. So this just slides over, but what's nice is that when it retracts, it wipes all the water off of it so that you're not getting that mildew or mold in there. Um, but do be careful, because if you let it go, it does kind of slam shut. Not super loud, but enough. So just watch for little fingers, maybe. All right, so now we'll show you into this storage area here. This is right next to the fridge and freezer, so you could use this for a variety of things. Lots of drawers. Let's show you. And one more. Nice solid drawers. Good to 
have for all your items. And then we're gonna shift our way into the bedroom. I'm gonna close this, that's that bathroom door that swings wide open. Now into the bedroom, you do have um, countertop or um, like a nightstand on either side, drawers on either side, and wardrobe up above, plus the storage up there. And as you can see, they added in that blue cupboard or blue, I don't know, it's not really a cupboard up here, but the blue color to that area there. Wardrobe and your drawer on either side has that countertop. Now underneath into the bed, very nice and simple. I barely touched that to get it to go open. So that's for your under the bed storage. Now, I don't want that to slam shut, so there we go. So now I'm gonna show you the outside of this camper through these secondary doors. So there's a door up front in the front living and then there's a door here out or into the bedroom area. So we'll kind of start in this back area here. This is your pass through storage, nice and large. And as you can see, there is a vent on the right hand side. You do have lights so you can see what you're doing. Really helpful. There's a ladder that goes all the way to the top so you're able to do some of those um, roof maintenance things. It is prepped for a Voyager backup camera. You do get a spare tire. And this is just another view of that pass-through storage. Since we're here, right below, this is your um, power jacks, stabilizing jacks. Um, the controls there, which is very handy. Your outdoor shower, hot and cold water. So if you do need to use that, um, you do have hot water out here if, if that's an option for you. Park cable, satellite hookup. This is your shore power there. And then your black tank flush. And this, I believe, is your um, city water fill. So this is your one slide. This unit only has one slide. So this is your one slide here that's in that living area, which is in the front on this one. There is a small storage area up front that does have your um, solar. So this does have solar on board. This keeps track of where your solar is at, your battery disconnect. Extra spot for additional solar if you wanted to add a suitcase solar panel or briefcase solar panel to that. Your propane tanks and your power tongue jack. And then your batteries, of course, would be housed in the front as well. Nice big front cap. Um, the decal is a little bit different on this than they have in the past, so that's one thing that's been updated in these 2023 models. Nice large awning, covers quite a bit of area. Like I said, two doors. This is your outlet here. And this is for cable. So if you wanted to put a TV out here, you could put that out here. And your double axle for towability. So there it is, the 2023 Winnebago Mini. It's the 2500 FM.